na tumesha tuwa mbo ingwa na hileo tunanza shukuli hii ni submission ambayo itajukua siku tatu tunanza hileo ito matu na kwa hapa limamosi ikisha shukuli pepo itakuina tamatika siku ya jumapili kwa hivyo tunaingwa matumaini kama mungu watatujalia na tutaweza kuwa nye mingi sana manake tupa hapa mission ni kuweza kuwanegesha watu
tukuone hallelujah tembea tukuone praise the lord
name of the living God. Amen. Let's say my kamba. Mungu anaka katika nini? Sawatu wake. Hallelujah. Kama una kitamba chukua tu. Kama una kitamba chukua tu. Hallelujah. Kama una cha chukua. Kama una kitamba kuna miti apa. I want us to be crazy for Jesus. Amen. I want us to be crazy for the Lord.
Outside this continent, they say Africa there is no security, right? They say Africa are in a security Missouri. But as a few, but listen, huh? this is what was done when Jesus was born. Yes, Ali Pesaliwa, amen. Ali Pesaliwa, what is written is here. Ali Pesaliwa, what is who come to this country, right? Amen. And this was the angel of the Lord came to. Just of the father of Jesus. I come on here and have it in the Kikamba. Hallelujah. The Kikamba Bible says, Rukila was the Kalakana. Inuka to come to Toyaka and Amayake. Free to each other. Amen. Amen. This is the confidence we have in our Lord. Where people say, there 
Sasifiwe tena Asante sana Please and worship mungu wa bariki sana Asante sana
aezi akazuiliwa na wakati God is not limited by what you think aezi akafungukiwa na jambo la kufanya He is here to do what only he can do amekuja ni kwa ajili ya kutenda aliloweza kutenda I want us to go in the book of Nataka twende katika kitabu cha wafalme wa wiki wa pili Amen Wafalme wa pili Chapter 5 verse 1 Kifungu ni cha tano mstari ni ule wa kwanza. Mwamani Yesu mwamani. Mwamani Yesu mwamani. Mwamani Yesu mwamani. The Bible says The Bible speaks of this one man His name is Nama The name of this man is Nama The Bible says Now Nama commander of the army of the king Was a great and honorable man in the house of his master Because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria He was also a mighty man of valor But Aleppo Hallelujah Amen The Bible is introducing us to a man called Lama He is a great man of Syria He is a great man in the army of Syria He was honored by men Just as some of us are honored He was highly respected When he was passing people People were respecting him. He was such a great person that everyone knew in that city. But this man had one deficiency. He was a leper. But you are a leper You might be driving the most expensive cars But you are a leper There is a disease that is disturbing in your life You might be doing everything Doing everything and enjoying yourself But you have not received this Christ You are a leper There is no meaning of the world without Jesus Jesus is the one who gives meaning to the life He is the one who wants your life to get a meaning to Jesus If you want to live a meaningful life Christ Christ with you Hallelujah If you want to people Whose lives are being tortured by the things of the world Yes I know I'm a graduate 
But I have disease in my flesh. I have a disease in my flesh. It cannot be healed by the people of the world. It cannot be healed by the magician. There are things that you need only to consult the greater here. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the name that is the universe. I might not have come to many people but to that one soul that is very sick but to that soul, one soul that is very sick Christ is calling you even now you are dressed so well there is pain in the inside of you you are wearing well you are just loving with men This man is a leper. How many lepers are here? Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! And the Syrians had gone out on raids. Na washami walikuwa wametoka vikosi And Syrians had gone out for a raid Walikuwa wametoka vikosi And they had brought him back A captive, a young girl from the land of Israel Wakachukua mfungwa Moja kijana mwanamuke kutoka inchi ya Israeli Hallelujah Amen They had brought a captive from the land of Israel Wakaleta mfungwa kutoka inchi ya Israeli The reason is why we are here Kwa sababu ilio tuleta hapa is because we have been sent by God to this place. It is not a normal thing for us to be there. God has a purpose for someone. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's continue. And then she waited on Naman's wife. Then she, then she sent to her mistress. If only my master were with the prophet who is in Samaria. For he would heal him of his leprosy. And Naaman went in and told his master. Thus and thus says the girl who is from the land of Israel. The king of Syria said Go and how will send a letter to the king of Israel So he departed and took with him Ten talents of silver six Yeah, he's of exalted Then then he brought the letter to the king of Israel which he said I want you to listen to this point now they are writing a letter to the king of Syria thinking that this king will save them they are writing a letter to king Uhur you are writing a letter to an honorable person in the world all those people that you know this kingdom does not need connection to get anything you only need to carry Christ with you it is only Christ that you want in this life you are done, you are, we are done with your degree but you are just loitering here and there you don't need any person to be the thing that 
that you just started for. Awitaji mtu akusaidie kile jambo ulianza. There is a man whom we carry. Kunaye tunayembeba. There is a man we carry in our inside. Kunaye tunayembeba ndani yetu. Who is greater than the one who is in the world? Ambaye ni mkuu sana kuliko aliye duniani. There is the one inside of us. Kunaye aliye ndani yetu. Na kuna mwingine ako huko. And there is other one that is there. I don't want to know where he is. I sitaki kujua kwa wapi. But one thing I know. But I have another person greater than him. Ninaye mkuu ndani yangu. Hallelujah. Amen. When you carry him you carry the whole world. Ukimbeba yeye ndani yako unabeba ulimwangu wote. You walking and knowing that. Unafaa kuwa ukitembea ukijua tu. The Lord is my shepherd. Ukijua Yesu ndiye mtulaki. Sitapungukiwa na chochote. Let me be sad still waters. Nitatembea katika maji. Let me be sad still waters. Because he is my shepherd. Kwa maana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. I have a man inside of me. Ninaye ndani yako. He is still my shepherd. Ambaye tena ni mchungaji wangu. He is still calling you. Na leo anakuita. The thing will be coming his own. Akuita uwe wake. Jesus still loves you. Yesu naye bado angalia anakupenda. Yesu anakupenda. Jesus loves you. People of Goingwa. Watu wa Goingwa. It is a message for you. Kuna ujumbe hapa wewe. There is a man who came and died. Kuwa kunaye aliyekuja na kafa. So we may have life. Ndio sisi tuwe na maisha. Have it in abundance. Na tuwe nayo kwa wingi. Not being limited in any way. Hatujapungukiwa kwa vyovyote vile. Not being limited in any way. Hatujapungukiwa kwa vyovyote we are not limited because we carry him in us because we carry him in us he is the one who defines our life he is the password of our lives I cannot live without him I cannot live without him I cannot live without him we need to come to read it to this realization that we need the Jesus in our lives. The Bible says that if God has not gone the city, even those who gone the city can do it. Amen. Nataka tumalize hii story. Yes. Nenda tu mimi nataka kila kama. I want us to complete this. Haleluya. Haleluya. Nenda tu mimi ninge wenu. Aha. Haleluya. Chapter 5 says. Verse 5 says. Verse 5. Then the king of Syria said, Go now and I will send a letter to the king of Israel. Aha. So in the pattern they took with him. Aha. Is of it to sort. Aha. Then he brought the letter to the king of Israel which said, Aha. Now be advised. Aha. When this letter comes to you, Aha. and I have sent Naaman, my servant to you, that you may heal him of this leprosy. Aha. Hapo amefanya makosa. Aha. Hallelujah. Aha. They are writing to the king to heal Naaman of his leprosy. Wamemwandikia mfalme wa Shamu aweze kumponya. Hallelujah. Amen. You are seeking solution where you cannot find it. Unatafuta suluhisho mahali ambapo unapata. Solution is started by the men of God. Now suluhisho inabebwa na watumishi wa Mungu. You carry Jesus you carry the solution of the world. Kama unao Yesu ndani yako umebeba suluhisho. If there are men that will rise in this kingdom. Kama kuna watu watakao simama katika ufalme. Christ with them. Lazima wawe na Kristo ndani yao. Verse 7 says. Maandiko katika mstari wa 7 when the king of Israel read the letter that he tore his clothes and said am I God to kill and make a life that this man sends a man to me to heal him of his lepros somebody celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus Shangilia Yesu kwa makofi mazuri. Eh? Aha. It is a king. Remember. Yeye yeah, ni yeah, mfalme. Eh? Si mtu wa ganju. Aha. He is a king. He is a king. Eh? Si student si mumo. Aha. He is a king. Ni mfalme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Si lecturer. Si mkufunzi. And the king says, am I a god? Je, je mimi ni Mungu? Am I god? I may kill and make a life. Je, mimi ni Mungu ni uwe na kupa uhai. Tengeneza huyu Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. This Jesus is in this place. Naye huyu Yesu yuko hapa. And this is the God whom we are given. Naye ndiye tuliyompewa. Yes, you are handsome. Aha. Yes, you are beautiful. Ndio umeombeka vizuri. 
Like you need Christ. Like you need Christ. Like you need Christ. Like you need Christ. There is something that you lack. Kuna kitu na that is not given by the king. Uh -huh. That is not given by the king. We have come to bring to you Christ. Tume kuja kukuletea Kristo. One time for the sake of every one of us. Ambaye alikufa ni kwa ajili ya sisi sote. The king of Syria has something to say. Na mfalme wa Shamu anacho anacho sasa kabisa. I letter to that and the king of Israel. Akaandika waraka kwa mfalme wa Israeli. Mfalme anasema kwamba And he says, "Am I God that I may kill and give life?" Yeah, mimi ni Mungu nipeane uhai na kuua. He is only God who kills and gives Life. You are feeling that in your life you are dead. It is only Jesus who gives and makes a life. You are a young generation in this city. Yes, you are just here. You are listening to me. Yes, you are calling you now. Christ is calling you now. Yes, you are not on yourself. We are not on our own. We are not on our own. There is His Majesty in this place. His Majesty is in this place. And the Bible. And God, am I God to kill and make a life? That this man sends a man to me. This man sends a man to me to heal him of leprosy. Therefore, please consider and see how he sees a borrow with me. Hey, Hallelujah. Amen. I want those who are far. I want those who are far. Just come near. Hallelujah. This is a king. Remember. Kumbuka who you nimfalme. And I say, my this other man is picking a quarrel with me. And I say, my who in Iya na tafuta kuwamana na me. But because he lacks Christ in him. Na kwa sababu na kosa. He has no solution for this man. Ana sulu kwa who you jamaa. The solution is given by men who have Christ in them. Na sulu ina bebo na watu ambao na Christ on the yao. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I'm going to introduce to you. A man called a man in this chapter who is Nama. Ndio sababu basi nitakuleta kwa jamaa huyu. Nama cannot be killed by any man. Na yangeweza kuponywa na mtu mwingine. The disease that you are suffering from. Na logoncha linalokusumbua. Cannot be healed by the doctor. Aliyezi likaponyeka tu kwa madaktari. Sick and was from the doctors. Usisikize. Usisikize. Hallelujah. Madaktari wana kuambia We have a doctor inside of us When we get sick He's ready to heal us Hallelujah I carry more than a medicine in me Hallelujah Ask Lazarus and he'll tell you I am dead for four days I know he calls me Lazarus Lazarus is alive now. Nae Lazaro anachi. Because Christ has called him. Ame muita. That Christ is the one inside of us. Ale mfufuwa ndi ya lienda nietu. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you are sick in your bed. Pekine kwa kakitandani mwako yoko mkwacho. Come and get your solution. Tumekuja na sulu. Come and get your solution. Kuja upate solution hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. Aha. Verse 8. 
eti nasema listen katika mstari wa 8 maandiko yanasema hivi so it was when elisha the man of god ikawa elisha yule mtu mtu wa mungu so it was when the amos the man of god na ikawa aliposikia yule mtumishi wa mungu felix hallelujah amen it was not that it was not at that time haikuwa hadi wakati ule that the man of god said mtumishi wa mungu aliposikia Thank you only one. You are the splits. Shapaya nam prata. So it was not that deal when Elisha the man of God hand. Hadi aliposikia mtumishi wa Mungu. And the king of Israel and torn his clothes. Aliposikia kwamba mfalme wa Israeli amerarua mavazi yake. That is sent to the king saying ndipo akatuma mtu kwa mfalme akisema why have you torn your clothes bwana mmerarua mavazi yako why have you torn your clothes na haje sasa kwangu mimi naye remember elisha is not a king kumbuka elisha si mfalme elisha is not a king yeye si mfalme but has something to do for the king lakini analo jambo la kufanya mfalme there are some information that not for the king kunao ujumbe mwingine nao si wa mfalme for the men of god nao ni watumishi wa mungu some decisions are not to be taken to the to the king magonjo mengine si ya kupelekea darikani to be to the men of god yanapelekea watumishi wa Mungu haleluya amen why have you torn your clothes akisema mbona umerarua mavazi yako why have you torn your clothes kwa nini umerarua mavazi yako i'm speaking to the king of this society naongea na mfalme wa maeneo haya why have you torn your clothes je kwa nini umerarua mavazi yako why have you torn your clothes kwa nini umerarua mavazi yako haleluya amen why have you torn your clothes kwa nini umerarua mavazi yako in come to me wacha na aje kwangu and let that he shall know naye atachua that there is a prophet in israel na ajue kuwa kuna nabii katika nchi ya israeli there is a prophet in israel kuna nabii katika nchi ya israeli where are you je uko wapi where are you uko wapi this matters not for the king of this society haijalishi watu wa fame wa dunia the king of kings ni kwa ajili ya wafalme wa fame inside of us naye anaishi ndani yetu anakanda ndani yetu haleluya amen love for the season yeah makofi mazuri haleluya amen i know you is here natua yuko hapa i know you is here natua yuko hapa i god you are here mungu wangu uko i know you are here mungu wangu uko hapa lord of elisha wewe ni mungu wa elisha lord of elisha mungu wa elisha haleluya amen why have you torn your clothes kwa nini umearua magumu yako why have you torn your clothes kwa nini umearua magazi yako The Samaritan woman is asking where will you get that thing to fetch water from? Nitatoa je wapi kitusi suluhu? But Jesus and a solution. Na Yesu alikuwa ameibeba wakati huo. He said unto her, akamwambia hivi, that I am carrying water of life. Nimebeba maji ya uzima, which if I give it unto you, kuwa nikikupa wewe. Hallelujah. There is water inside of us. Hicho ndicho kilicho ndani yetu. When we give to the world. Kwa tukikipa kwenye ulimwengu. We are say again. Aha. Because we have him in us. Kwa sababu tunaye ndani yetu. Has abundance of water. Ambaye anao maji tele. Hallelujah. Amen. Samaritan woman. Samaria mwanamke. You don't need this water again. Uhitaji maji haya tu peke yako. Unahitaji maji mengi. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not this water. 
that is what he said of them. Samaritan woman. Samaritan woman. You just need water. And when she received the water, many other people came to Christ. Many other people came to Christ. So she had a solution for them. So God has a solution that the world needed. He went and said to the society. I'll give you nations. Come and test of this man. Everywhere you are, people are going. Come and test of this man. This is not our gospel. The Bible says the time is coming. That you will be normal. You will be normal. You will be normal. Christ is still calling you. You have not come for the righteous. He came for the sinners to come to him. He came that you may have life and have it in abundance. He came that he may bring solution to your life. Hallelujah. Amen. I know this gospel is not sweet for the world. The Bible says it is foolishness to those who are perishing. But it is the power of God. He is the one this power of God to operate in your life. We are calling you to this prayer now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we love you. Father, we worship you. Baba tunakuwa huko. Everyone we are you are can just come near. Popote ulipo karibia. Karibia mahali hapa. Nataka kumalizia. We want to finish. We want to finish this matter. Tunataka tumalizie jambo hili. The gospel has reached to you. Injili nayo imewafikia. The gospel has reached to you. Injili nayo imewafikia. Yes you are tired. Now ni wakati wako. You just align yourself to the great I am. Aha, now ujiunganishe kwa huyu Yesu Kristo. You align yourself to the great I am. Ujiunganishe kwa huyu Yesu Kristo. The man at the pool of Siloam. Naye yule jamaa aliyokuwa ameketi katika kidimu cha maji. Katika miaka 18. There is no one to make me get into that pool. Naye kuna akukuwa na mtu hata mmoja aliyekuwa amemwezesha kuingia pale. God is stirring the waters. Naye malaika wa Someone else enters before. But solution came. Solution came with Christ. I know you in this place. You have been finding the solution for this life. Constitution cannot take you anywhere. The things of the world will not take you anywhere. The Bible says the world will pass. But I 
na ulimwangu utapita everything in it will pass na chochote kilichomo ndani kitapita but the word pass lakini neno la bwana litabaki milele the word will put to you na hili ndilo neno tulokuletea wherever you are just come here popote ulipokaribia popote pale ulipokaribia wherever you are just come nyara the voice of god is calling you leo sauti ya mungu inakuita just pray in the holy tongues aha building a soul in the most holy faith mm-hmm. and pray in the holy ghost
nataka tumalize. Want to welcome the pastor to come. No, naomba ni muita mtungaji kuje. Ili aweze kutumalizia so that he can finish and when it comes. Anajua tutabarikiwa and I believe we shall be blessed. Tomorrow we will be in the same place. Kesho tutakuwa mahali hapa. Natatembea bado kwa manyumba zenu. Na we shall come to your houses. Na wakati tunatembea tunawaambia nini? Na We continue to thank the Lord because He is here with us. So people of Goigo. Na watu wa Goigwa from wherever you can hear us popote pale ambapo unapotusikia we came with one business tulikuja na kauli moja tu to tell you that Jesus Christ kuambia kwamba Yesu Kristo is the answer to your life yeye ndiye suluhisho kwa maisha yako we came to say that Jesus is the answer tulikuja kusema kwamba Yesu ni suluhisho haijalishi umetafuta suluhu wapi ukakosa kutiko makania kule wedetesho kio kaaga tujakuja kubahatisha tutukite okohetokerera oguo tunasema yule ambaye tumewaletea natapo igore tumureheire goku sisi wenyewe tumemjaribu ijue ni tumugaratie alitusaidia mwanzo ni atotaidirie kia pereria hosa tumekuletea yeye na leke tukoraheire yeshio atujakuja kumuambia kuhusu mtu ambaye atujuajuana na yeye tutukite kumurahera mudu tutoya inenake hivyo watu wa goigwa jioni ya leo okohetokerea hata tunapomalizia wanatokitiria tunazidi na kuwaelezea kwamba tuko hapa siku ya kesho tuwadi kidabe kuborato na rusu tu haha hata siku ya jumapili ona mudanya wa jumapili tu hoko ili tukaendelee na kutangaza ningeenda tovida habari na kutagaza kwamba jina ni moja hata tumwere tani rumwe nasema jina ni moja ningeenda tani rumwe kwa Yesu atatukuka akaigwa Jesu ni akwa Yesu Kristo ndio yule ndiye namtoa yako kwa Yesu bado nafasi iko kwa na kanya yako tunapomalizia na kufunganya vyombo tukitiria ona kushoka na hiyo siku naweza kukaribia na uone mmoja wetu na tueleri na uone mmoja wetu na tutakuombea na nitakukohera na Yesu atakuwa pamoja nawe na kesho soko roho moyo nawe sisi ambao tunahubiri hapa tunaitwa Christian Life Family Fellowship hivi roho jia hata kwa Christian Life Family Fellowship na tuko hapa goigwa tuko roho goto goigwa na kwa hivyo kama unatusikia kwa kikoro ni natulikereria tunakukaribisha katika mkutano huu nitoko nyito wageni ndio msamani huyo na pia katika kanisa naona kanisa ile huitwa na tukiwa pamoja leo tuko na uh, Mount Kenya University na hapo na hivyo tena Mount Kenya University ambao wamekuwa wa msaada sana ari makoreto mare au wao hatimu ingi mwana kule hivi wao hata kesho kiwaona wanakutembelea huko na wasomo na mageko sere ukikutana nao msamani nao ujue ni watu ambao wametoka mahali kuna madhabahu wamenye na ndo mmeta hado hekigogo ni watu ambao wanafanya kazi ajui awajui ni gani ningetenda matama utawala matama nyore mara mena hivyo ningependa tukaweze kuunga pamoja wende tohoe hamwe tunapomalizia ningeza turekelie baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo amada ino wale tore Yesu jioni ya leo twaja mbele zako hoino mmoja tu kabere yako tunazidi na kuliinua jina lako tunavina bere kobare ya tore yako katika maeneo ya goigwa hino itoro ya goigwa tunazidi na kutangaza tunavina bere na kutagaza ya kwamba kuna jina jingine atakotile leo toreke ambalo ime Amefungia watu kuja kwa Yesu. Nakahikiri ndogoka kwa Yesu. Leo tunainuka kinyume naye. Hoyo mambo ni tokaka ni ukada yake. Tunatangazia hanga. Na tutaka dalaria la. Tunanenea mchanga. Hamna kwaleria tenu. Katika maeneo ya goigwa. Hoyo ya goigwa. Yesu ndiye mfalme. Yesu ni mmoja maki. Tunainua bendera ya Yesu Kristo. Kifafaro kia Yesu. Tunainua bendera ya Yesu. Bendera ya kifafaro kia Yesu. Anaendelea kutamalaki 
katika maeneo ya kwaigwa ile ikorole ya kwaigwa na nene ya mashariki ni toleri ya katika dini tunatangaza watu wote ni toleri ya dodo wa mashariki na ibero ambao wamefungwa asemoheto na shetani ikoma tunachukua mamlaka Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Do 